This might look like a lot of the duplexes we run on this show, but this one is bringing almost double the amount of rent you guys are used to seeing. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey everyone, welcome to, what episode are we even on right now? 389, man, we are doing a lot of MLS search and analysis episodes. Thank you guys so much for continuing to watch and interact with this show. I, I love it, man, doing this show, helping out investors across the world. That is what we love to do. The investors that we are currently helping today guy by the name of Rhett and his business partner. You guys just recently came to Holton Wise because you're doing a 1031 exchange. You need to identify some properties by the end of the week. It's Tuesday. I have to identify properties for you by Saturday, so I needed to get this stuff out to you so we can continue the due diligence process, right? That's one of the things we do here at Holton Wise, guys. We systemize everything for optimum efficiency, right? That's my big thing, speed and efficiency, okay? That's why I built out this platform. That's why I built out this TV show. I am looking to, to help investors invest in real estate worldwide in the most quick, simple, precise, and efficient way possible. And without all these systems in place, A, we'd never be able to manage a $75 million portfolio like we do for you guys, number one. Number two, we would never be able to sell as many properties as we do. And then number three, which is most important to my man, Rhett, we would never be able to identify uh, six potential properties for you in a matter of of days to get you in the door before your 1031 exchange identification period ends. So uh, that's what we do here. That's why you guys like the show. That's why we're already at episode 389. So thank you so much. And lastly, before I get into the property, if you guys want to work with me in the same way, Rhett or any of the other 388 people have, send my team an email, sales at holdenwise.com. Give us your number. We'll call you, talk to you about the process of starting, building, or growing your real estate portfolio. But enough of that. Rhett, let's talk about this property, dude. This is a nice, nice, nice duplex in a very nice area of the city of Lakewood. I shot you some other stuff, some bigger deals uh, in the city of Lakewood. This one is a duplex, so by far the smallest property that I've sent to you. But, dude, the rents coming in are big, right, because this neighborhood is so nice. And I know neighborhood quality was very important to you, right? You were looking for B grade or better. Some of the deals I sent you based upon inventory constraints and timeline constraints from now to the uh, end of your 1031 exchange period, we deviated from your criteria a little bit, uh, as does this one, but neighborhood quality, it does not deviate in any way, brother. This is a solid, solid neighborhood and just, you know, solid, solid duplex, man. You got the new hot water tank right here, probably only a couple years old. We got the other one right there. That's probably, if I had to guess, maybe like 5 to 10 years old. Here's one of the furnaces. That's probably a good 10, 15-year-old furnace. Furnaces, just so you guys know, I hear they last about 30 years. Cost 3 Gs to replace. Hot water tanks typically last 15 years. Cost 1,000 to replace. So this sucker is in the first, you know, I would guesstimate the first third of its life cycle. This is probably in the back end of its life cycle. You're probably about halfway there on that furnace. I don't see the other furnace. I think that, yep, that's the other furnace right there. That one definitely looks a little older. So, no, you got some CapEx costs coming. Now, all that said, though, what are the numbers? Well, first, let's get to the address. 1476 Cordova, Lakewood, as I said, right? Been on the market for 125 days. My opinion, uh, there's two reasons for this. One, I think it's priced a little bit too high. And two... Lakewood is really driven, like the reason it's priced high is because if one of these units was empty, by the way, just so you guys know, like it's priced high, but it's also priced low at the same time. That's the thing with Lakewood. It's driven by a lot of owner-occupied young professionals, a lot of the prices. It's a very uh, high-demand neighborhood in the Cleveland market. So if this particular seller had one of these units empty... Hey lenders, are you looking to be part of our referral program? If so, send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. <laughs> 
an owner occupied person who wants to do a house hack so to speak they'd probably pay like 265 for this thing and it probably would have sold within days okay so for that i think it's priced a little bit too low but it's not it's got two tenants in there the rents are great though the rents are 1110.50 so 21.50 that's 25,800 for the year normal uh, expenses. I mean, we're probably going to see a lot less turnover and vacancy and a little bit less repairs because these people are higher end tenants. They're not going to do much damage or anything of that nature. I anticipate you guys seeing a NOI on this thing of a little bit over 13 K a year, right? So the, the rental amounts coming in are good. However, it's priced a little bit high for most investors, right? So we're a little low for owner-occupants, but owner-occupants really aren't interested in it because they can't move in. There's two people living there. And investors are kind of shying away from it because it's a little expensive because back to that chart, you can see the taxes. They really hurt cash flow. The taxes in Lakewood are very high. Very desirable, a lot of nice services and all, but dude, 4,300 bucks in taxes, 358. That really kills it for a lot of people. So with all that in mind, I think a fair and reasonable price that we can actually get the seller to accept would be $220,000. If we got the deal done at 220k, it makes it a 6 cap and 8.6% cash on cash return. This is a nice place to park 1031 money, right? Cuz you guys can still cash flow, but when you actually go to exit, if you sell it semi-occupied, or you want to max it out, sell it totally unoccupied, you will get a premium on the exit. So it's not always just about cash flow. Sometimes you got to look at that internal rate of return, which this, of course, will have a really good one, right? So, fellas, I've shot you guys six properties. I hope that... Uh, we could put together a couple deals here to satisfy that 1031 exchange for you fellas. Let me know which deals you guys would like to move forward on in the show notes below of all the private emails I sent you with all the videos. And after we close on some of these deals, my team, we will be able to handle the property management, maintenance, insurance, and during the closing, we'll help you out with the title work as well. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.